Hello, today we will be talking about a very important feature of digital image processing, which are filters. We will be talking about spatial filters, what they are, the types of filters, and a few examples of each of them. Uh, before I move on to the actual video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, so the type of spatial filters are that we that we will be looking at today are mean filters, median filters, and enhancement filters. And enhancement filters are of three types: Laplacian, difference, and others. <coughs> Let me zoom out. Okay, so uh, here. So, spatial filtering is typically applied for noise mitigation or to perform some type of image enhancement. Now, why do we use spatial filtering? We use uh, spatial filtering to remove noise or to enhance the image in some way. These operators are called spatial filters. Since they operate on the raw image data in the RC space, the spatial domain. Uh, suppose this is an image. If this is the image, the spatial filters operate directly on this image. Instead of transferring it to another form or another domain, it acts directly on this domain. This is why they are called spatial filters. They operate. <coughs> They operate on image data by considering a small neighborhood in the image, such as 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 and so on, returning a result based on a linear or non-linear operation moving sequentially down across the entire image. Okay, so if this is the entire image, a small amount of neighborhood is selected. This neighborhood can be 3 into 3, 5 into 5 or any odd number into any odd number. First of all, this, uh, first of all, it, uh, this, uh, first of all, this part is uh, calculated or filtered, then we move it to the next, then we move it, uh, sorry, here let me just, still let me just select this and we keep moving it here, we move across and down. Once we move across and down, which means we move this way first, we move this way first, and then we move this way. Okay, so the three types of filters we are going to discuss are mean filters, median filters, and enhancement filters. Mean and median filters are mainly used to reduce or eliminate noise and images and enhancement filters are used to highlight edges okay let me select this highlight edges and details within the image highlight edges and details and mean and median are used to deal with noises in the images uh, many spatial filters are linear filters the result is a weighted sum of pixels and its neighbors. Uh, okay, uh, I will explain this in the following video. For now, just familiarize yourself with the terms linear filters, weighted sum of pixels, and mask coefficients. I will explain them later on as we go. So, if the coefficients are positive, it blurs the image. If they are alternative positive and negative, it sharpens the image. If the coefficients sum to 1, brightness is retained. If it sums to 0, it provides a dark image. <clears throat> okay, uh, now going on to mean filters. Mean, fil uh, mean filters are an averaging filters. They operate on local group of pixels called neighborhoods and replace the center pixel with an average pixel in the neighborhood. This is done using a convolution mask using the following. Note down the term convolution mask. This is a typical mean filter. 
uh, mean filter mask, how do we get this 9 value? It is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is the uh, value of, this is how we get the value of 9. Although you can't understand it in this image due to the camera quality, but some of the noises have been removed here. We will see how the filters are applied later on, but for now just note down how the filters work or what the filters are. For example, uh, why do we, how does a mean filter work? It uses, it is an averaging filter, it operates on local groups of pixels called neighborhood and replace the center pixel with the average of the pixels in the neighborhood. It uses a convolution mask, example of a mask is as follows. Uh, also, one thing to remember that mean filter, uh, let me write this down, is a linear filter. Median filter, it is a non-linear filter. Uh, let me select the highlighter. Okay, it is a non-linear filter and it cannot, cannot be found by weighted sum. Uh, but it also works on median filters. What? How does it work? It sorts the pixel values in a small neighborhood and replaces the center, uh, the uh, center pixel with the middle value. The output image needs to be written into a separate image called a buffer, so the results are not corrupted. Okay, it does not work on the original image. A new image is formed so that the original image is not corrupted. We will look at how it works in the following example. Suppose this is a set of pixels. Suppose this is a set of pixels in our image. These are the values. Now, if we sort them in order, we can see that the values will be, what is the smallest value here? 3. This, uh, suppose we take this 3. Next, we have another 3. The next value uh, is 3, which is this one, and the next value is 4, and then it's 4, and we can see we have 3 5s, and then we have 6, and we have 7. What we have done is we have sorted it out in an ascending order. Once we have sorted it out in an ascending order, from smallest to largest, we select the middle value which in this case is 5 with this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The middle value is in this case this value 5. One, uh, this, uh, the, this 5 is the middle value. So this 4 is replaced with this 5. This is how we do a median filter. I hope this is clear for you. If not, leave it down in the comment section below and I will make a separate video on this. Um, someone, if you can, it would help everyone comment down on examples of this. Uh, let me select my highlighter. So, uh, <clears throat> if you can see this image, let me zoom it out, uh, let me zoom in a bit. You can see there are lots of black and white dots. These black and white dots on the image are called salt and pepper noise. You might want to make a note of this because this is a term we will be using uh, from now on. As you can see, when we applied this median filter on this image, the image looks so much clearer. So what have we done? We have applied a median filter on an image which has noise and we have produced a clear image a noiseless image or a reduced noise image. Now let us move on to the third type of uh, third type of filters which is enhancement filters. Uh, before I move on let me just give a recap of the type of filters that we've learned. Uh, first of all we learned about mean filters and then we learned about median filters and now we are learning about enhancement filters and all of these filters fall under a special uh, special cat uh, category which is known as spatial filtering 
Now, why is this called spatial filtering? If you know the answer and if you've watched the video carefully, please leave it down in the comment section below. This is also implemented with convolution mask, which has alternative positive and negative coefficients. <clears throat> They enhance the image by sharpening. There are two types uh, that we are going to be learning today, Laplacian and Difference Filters. Uh, I, I, I forgot to mention one thing. The values inside the convolution mask, these are called as coefficients. These values, 1, 1, 1, they are called as coefficients. A special feature of the enhancement filter, uh, it is that it has alternative positive and negative coefficients. Now let us look at what this means. If this is, uh, if this is a filter, we can see it has uh, alternative positive and negative values. Positive and negative values. Okay. There are also linear filters and there are uh, they are applied using convolution masks. Okay, uh, they are also rotationally invariant, which means that they will enhance the detail in all directions. This is for Laplacian filters. Laplacian filters are rotationally invariant. That is, they will enhance the detail in all directions. These are some of the examples of the Laplacian filters. Uh, I hope you write them down and practice them because it's important to remember the different types of filters used. Uh, if we can see here, this is the original image and this uh, when we apply a Laplacian filter and this is the clearer image or enhanced image. Now, uh, we, we have learned that there are two types of enhancement filter. The first one is Laplacian filter and the next one is difference filters, which is also known as emb uh, embossed filters. <clears throat> the, difference between, uh, the difference between Laplacian and difference filter is that uh, the difference filter enhances the detail in a direction specific to the mask. This is the, they are not rota rotationally invariant. It enhances the details in a direction specific to the mask. There are four different uh, filter masks and they are vertical, horizontal and the two diagonal directions. Uh, the vertical one, this here we can see 1, 1, 1. Uh, sorry, 1, 1, minus 1. Uh, let, me uh, let me zoom in a bit so you understand this better. This is for the word this is the filter for the vertical direction 1 1 minus 1 for the horizontal 1 1 minus 1 for the minus 45 degrees or uh, one diagonal 1 1 minus 1 for the 45 degrees 1 1, one uh, minus 1 <clears throat> Okay so now we've learned the difference uh, the uh, in this video, we have learned what filter, uh, the different filters we ha we use. We learned about mean filters, median filters, and enhancement filters. This is applying, and uh, this is an example uh, showing. Let me select the highlighter. This is an example showing uh, the how a difference filter applied image turns out. As we can see, the image is so much more enhanced here. Okay, I will stop the video here. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you.